Check the speaker. In. Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. It's nice to see you one more time. Thank you, Welcome. teacher. Good evening. Thank you so much, Ana Beatriz. Now I hear you nice and clear. You see? That's better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, normally, I I came later. <laughs> uh, I, I apologize with you, okay? <laughs> That's okay, no problem. Thank you so much for being here. As you may know, we have another beautiful day. We're still alive, right? Which is uh, all good. It's raining. It's raining a, a little bit. I hope everything goes well. I don't know why, like with the weather, every time we start the class, it begins raining, right? I don't know why. It's every night, like we're doing this thing in October. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to show you what's going to be today's class. Just give me a minute. This. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be today's class. Uh, we're going to have future with in as well. That is um, the thing we're going to work. Uh, we're going to start like. Uh, some classes related to section number five, as you may see, this is our last week of this module. Yes, don't forget that you have on the platform uh, the different activities that you need to do. Okay. And then at the end, you have a final exam, right? That is also a schedule for this week. Yes. Uh, if you have any problem by any chance, you can get in contact with the person that is in charge of, of checking uh, the progress, right? Or also sometimes if you have a problem with one activity, you can uh, send uh, the uh, picture here on WhatsApp group so we can help each other here. Right? So sometimes a little dash or a little uh, point is affecting your, your answers there. Okay. So um, thank you so much for being here. And we're going we're gonna to begin with a little bit of this thing, do you remember when you were in basic? I have this thing which is from basic, okay? And I love basic levels, but you can practice a little bit, right? So here we have one, two, three, and four uh, statements, okay? Just let me fix number four because we have like one little thing over there, like missing, I need to like, hit the space. Just hit the space. Okay, here we go. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna request some of you to read these sentences. Okay, so you can help me out on this one. Okay, we're gonna work with, uh, let me see, Jose Alejandro Vaquerano Sanchez. Hello, Jose. Good. Hello, teacher. Good evening, it's nice to have you one more time. Can you please read the first sentence? Thank you so much. The first sentence? Yes. She sells seashells by the seashore. Oh, that's very good. Thank you so much. This is a twister. Yes, exactly, right? Do you remember when you were in basic? Like you yes. used to do this thing? Well, okay, we have one more time, right? Kind of a headache. Nelson, sit on. They're saying, Nelson, number one, please. Hello, Nelson. Can you do it? Do it. Yep, just number one. Oh, yes. No, okay. Let's work with Juan David Madrid. Thank you. Number one, Juan David. Thank you. Number one or two? Number one, please. One more time. She sells. She 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 helps by the seashore. Seashore. Okay. Very good. Seashore. Exactly. Very good. Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. Good evening. Nice to have you. Number two. Hi, Number two. How can I claim crown in a claim queen crown? Thank you so much. Very good. Very good. Mirna. Hello, Mirna. Good evening, Mirna. The number two. One more time, please. Thank you. How can I claim crown in a claim queen crown? 
Thank you so much. Very good. Patricia Castellanos, number three. Go ahead. Patricia Castellanos. Uh, so, sorry, sorry. Um, ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Thank you so much. Very good. Um, Delmi. Hello, Delmi. Number three. One more time, please. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Number three, please. Thank you. <clears throat> sentence number three. Read sentence number three. Um, I, I cram you. You cram the the uh, with. I cram for. No, this no. no. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I, I will I will have Sandra so listen the way Sandra pronounced. Okay. Okay, Sandra. Elizabeth Asensio, thank you. I ice cream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. Very good. Thank you. Ronald Alexis, number four. Can you hear me, teacher? Nice and clear. Okay. I saw Susie sitting in a show shine shop. Thank you so much. Sarah e. Martinez, good evening and welcome. Number four, please. Thank you. I saw Susie sitting in a sunshine shop. Thank you so much. Well, just for you remember back when you were like basic and you used to do these things, right? Yeah, those were like really nice times. What do you like to do on vacation? Everybody loves this part, which is vacation, right? Mm -hmm. So on the days before we get into the main content, we're going to discuss a little bit of this vocabulary that we have here uh, in this presentation, right? As you may see, we have vacation here. Question for you. Um, let me see. Melvin. Hello, Melvin. Can you please read, read the vocabulary that we have in the picture here, please? Hello, teacher. Yes, of course. Thank you. Uh, what do you like to do on vacation? Take a fun trip? Visit a foreign country? Travel in my own country? Uh, discover something new? Go to a music festival? Take a photography course? Stay home, hang out with friends, host a family reunion, enjoy nature, go camping, relax at the beach. Thank you so much. Very good. Yes. So here we have the different options that we can have. have the, you can say, oh, take a trip, right? You can take a trip somewhere. Discover something new, yeah, by right? trying to like go in a, an adventure, right? stay home, okay, which is the typical way <laughs> we spend vacation, right? Stay home and you can save some money at the same time, right? So you can be safe and, and, and as, at the same time, like, give some money for yourself. And then we have the other one, which is enjoy nature. I think, like, um, which one, tell me, which one calls your attention out of these four that we have here? Which one calls like your attention? You can say, oh, this one is good for me. Irma, tell me, which one caught your attention uh, out of these three or four options that we have? Irma Segura, hello, good evening. Thank you. Yes. Irma, no. Okay, what about you, um, Roxana Elizabeth Diaz? Tell me, this four caught your attention. Yes. Sorry, teacher. Oh, oh internet connection problems. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know. That's okay. Yeah, That's okay. tell me. Okay, Jose Alejandro, tell me, Jose Alejandro. What is one of these four options that caught your attention? I can hear you. 
Uh -huh. Hello, I can Hello. hear you. Oh, nothing? Oh, right now, yes. Oh, yes. Tell me. Yeah, what, what are these four options got your attention? Like, you can say, oh, this one is, is for me. Mm. Enjoy nature. Oh, very good. Tell me why. Because uh, I I stay with the uh, free aire uh, libre. No sé cómo se dice. Excuse me. I can I can breathe. I can breathe the uh, aire aire libre. No sé cómo lo puedo decir. How do you say that? Uh, but I I like to to stay in the nature because the the landscape is is, is beautiful and the the animals that they the 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 camping all the all the things I I like. Just one thing you say you have like a bunch you see a bunch of animals. What kind of animals? Do you see? Uh, let's say camping or when you go out and and then join it. Uh, bears. Oh. Bears. Okay. Uh, is that here in El Salvador or is it another country where you go? No, no. Here, here, teacher. Oh, beer, beer? Beers, 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 aves. Oh, birds. Oh, birds. Ah, birds. Yo, pensé oh, que era, okay. yo pensé que era cerveza. Birds. <laughs> That's later. That's later. <laughs> oh, okay. So is that for a twelve, right? I mean, I, is that a six? We contact with, with natural. So he, he prefers everything. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay. Very good. Okay. So uh, what about you, Ana Beatriz Martinez? Which activities do you like to do on vacation? Uh, I like the nature. And, and I would like to, to do uh, go camping or climbing on the mountain. Yes, I, I like. Do you like to go alone or with, with, your, with your relatives, with your siblings? Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you pick one, right? You, you yeah. pick one. You know what I mean, if you if you if you would like to like go alone, like just you and yourself, or if like you would like to bring your family with you, right? Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. We might maybe we buy some oh. because uh. Uh, he likes to. Oh, that sounds great. Sounds great. Yeah. That would be good, right? Thank you so much. <laughs> Patricia okay. Esmeralda Garcia. Hello, Patricia. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Which activities will you do? I'm sorry, would you like to do on your next vacation? Um, let me see. My last. Vacation and vacation on the on the last vacation I didn't go out, but in the picture I would like to visit my family in San Miguel. Later, and I would like to go to Beach. <laughs> Sorry, I was mute. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> what 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 about you, Juan David? What are your plans for this? Uh, what you for your next vacation, right? Since some of those vacations are over, so the next ones I think are going to be like in Christmas, I guess, in New Year's Eve. So, uh, tell me about it. Teacher, uh, in my case, in my case, is is very easy. Stay uh, stay at home. Yes, uh, the the money don't <laughs> so much. <laughs> uh, I I think in I go to a trip 
uh, of the world is is only fantasy. <laughs> yes, the 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 money <laughs> is is a problem. Yeah, please don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. Por eso es que si anda Beatriz se va sola, que me lleve. If somebody goes outside the country, please. Okay. It could be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what 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 Juan is saying is is like it isn't how to. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was that was very nice and very honest. Say that. Yeah. Um, uh, we're facing challenges. Uh, last, like two years ago, it was COVID-19 and now we're facing <laughs> money problems, right? Money problems. I'm sorry to hear about it, okay? What about you, Hebel? Uh, what are your plans? What would you like to do for your next vacation? Excuse me, Hebel, your mic is off. Okay. I like I like uh, a camping. I I am on time. Uh, it's a uh, beautiful contact with the nature. It's relaxing. I like camping um, with my dad oh. and my friends. Where Where do you go when you do that? Um, I I go uh, go um, uh, epital. I go. Uh, Eramon High and um, camping in a in a uh, montañona in a in a chalat in Lango. Oh, oh, that's it. So much. Sounds incredible. Yeah, sounds incredible. Yeah. All right. So, so you can have different options depending on the, on the budget you have, or also the time, <laughs> also the time, right? Because sometimes the time. It's like very tight, you know what I mean? When we got vacations, it's, it's very tight and sometimes it's not enough. Also, yeah. there are some jobs that requires you to work 24 hours, like no matter what, yeah. every single day of the year, you must work. But then okay. there is like no vacation for you, right? So <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's true, right? There are jobs that requires people to work uh, during holidays. Uh, on Christmas or maybe on Thursday and that's in a that's vacation. Day. In yes, a vacation, they, they, they don't have vacations. They don't have vacations. So, uh, <laughs> um, you as as individual, you need to deal with a job. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing those. We're gonna okay. work with a conversation, which is, I guess I'll just stay home. Yes, I guess I'll just stay home. Sad but true. Let's listen. And read. Unit 5. Hit the road. Page 30. Exercise 2. Conversation. I guess I'll just stay home. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to snorkel, so maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. Unit 5. Hit the Road. Page 30. Exercise 2. Conversation. I guess I'll just stay home. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to snorkel, so maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. 
That's great. The more the merrier. Okay, Sarai, Sarai Martinez, please describe the picture. Thank you so much. Um, there are two women that are uh, talking about what they are going to do on vacation. Yes. Okay, how do they look like in the picture? They look happy. Why? Because they're going to be on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a huge... That's a huge thing, right? That's a huge yeah. thing. And it's a good thing to be happy. Yeah? How many weeks are they going to be on vacation? How many, how many two, weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks, right. Okay. And what are the activities that they are going to do during these two weeks? And the, the first woman said that she's maybe going to be at home and also watch uh, some series. That's Lily and or the, uh, Lily. Got it. And the other one said that she's going to go to the beach with he, her cousin. Exactly. And what is one thing they're going to do, like Nora and her cousin? Uh, go to surfing. What else? Yeah. And she said uh, her cousin likes to uh, snorkel. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. At the end, how was the uh, conversation? What was the, the like the finishing uh, phrases of this conversation? That I... the maybe and the tree is gonna go with with them. Exactly right. Exactly so. That's a good friend, right? That invites you to go with them on that trip. That, that's good, right? So, you yeah. see, uh, Juan David, you have a chance. You have a chance, like, to go uh, to another a country, right? If you have a good friend, maybe at the end that he or she, right? Thank you so much. Save, save the conversation, please. Save the conversation. Uh, take the screenshot and, and please send it on the WhatsApp group so we can have it. I will open the breakout rooms for some time so you can practice with your partner. Yes, this conversation, remember that you need to practice twice. So that means you switch roles in the breakout rooms. Do you understand what are you going to do? Geraldine, do you understand? Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, perfect. If you do not understand, tell me. Okay? Okay. Perfect, perfect. I, I save the conversation because I'm going to open the breakout rooms. So you can join with your partners. And also, I will open the breakout rooms with three or four. So in case somebody is having problems with her internet or his internet connection, you can solve uh, and practice with another one of your classmates in here. Okay, just give me a minute. Okay, options. Jesus. I know with one. Oh my gosh. Okay, give me a minute because I did a mistake. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, in the main room, I will have Camilo, Juan David, Lucia Elena, and Patricia Castellanos. You four, please stay in the main room. So don't join your room, okay? One more time, Camilo Rivera, Juan David, Lucia Elena Cepeda, and Patricia Castellanos. You will stay here in the main room. Thank you, Juan. The rest of you, please, when you get the invitation, do me a favor and join so you can practice this conversation with your partners. Yes. Um, there we go. There you have um, the breaker rooms open. Please join. Thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Okay, so Juan David, uh, also Camilo, Lucia, and Patricia, she went. You, you, can, you can have this time for you to practice here. Well, so this is your time. I will give you the time so you can practice, okay? 
I will be like myself muted, okay? I don't know what happened. You couldn't join? You couldn't join? Uh, I don't know. I went to, to room number one, but after that? Oh, yes, because uh, you need to be here in the main room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, so yes. I returned to here, so <laughs> yes. I'm here. Yes, yeah, so you need to be here. Also, Camilo went there and also uh, Juan David, OK? Yeah. Okay. Okay, chef. No inviting in the way. No, no, le llegó la invitation. No. No. Okay, I'm sorry. You can stay here, Hevel, in this room. Okay, so you can oh. practice with Patricia. Let's begin practicing okay. with Patricia. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Hi, Hevel. Hi, Patricia. And where, where are the others? Okay. Yeah. Patricia. We can practice, okay? Oh, Who are you going to do? Hebel? What are you going to do? I'm not, I not sure, I, I guess I I use stay home. Um, maybe I'll out I'll, I'll, I'll with some friends. Um, watch my favorite series that about you any plans? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day and my cousin likes to snorkel so maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Hey, why, why, why don't you come with us? Do you meet it? I love to. I love uh, buy my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. Okay, we can switch, right? Okay, okay. switch. Okay. I am so excited. We have to week of uh, what, are, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with some friends and watch my favorite ser series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with uh, my cousin. We're, we're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to snorkel. So maybe we'll uh, go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Yeah, why why don't you come with you? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll bring my surfboard. Surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. Okay. <laughs> so. I'll we can... aprovechar. Yeah. Okay. So I'll switch again. <laughs> I think. I think we have another one here. Like one yeah. of you. Are you here? I don't know. Oh. I. I can't. Oh, Emilio Acevedo seems like. Is here, right? Yes. Camilo. Yes. Mm -hmm. but also, Juan David. I don't know. I can see. Yes. I, okay. I, I, ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry. Juan <laughs> <laughs> so, David uh, with Camilo. Camilo. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, Camilo. My my mother is named Nora. I am I am Nora. Please. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm really this. Okay. I am so excited. We have to wait weekends week of two weeks. the that are you going to do? I am not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe you'll hang out with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I am going to relax at, at the beach with my cousin. We're going 
to go surfing every day and my cousin likes snorkel. So maybe well go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come with with us? Do you mean it? I I love to it'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the Mary Maria. 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 Okay. Mary. Okay. Okay. Benedicto Chica. Switch. <laughs> Switch. So. So. Camilo is Nora. Nora. I am Nora right now. Okay. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? Juan David. Okay. I don't I I am not sure. I guess I will just stay home. Maybe I'll hunt out with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We are going to surfing every day and my cousin likes snorkel. So maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come with us? You mean it? I I love to. I will uh, bring my sword. Surfboard. That's the more the merrier. Nice. Okay. That's very nice. Okay. Um, very Thank good. You. Great job. Um, uh, if you mistake some pronunciation, if you notice right, uh, the idea with this one, because Hevel, I noticed Hevel did it when she was working yes. with Patricia, uh, and that yes. was very good, Hevel. I love the way you did it. Okay, so yes. you got you got some mistakes in your first participation, but then in the second one you fixed those little mm -hmm. things. That mm -hmm. was that was very good. Okay, so keep working like that, because that's the way, right? So you hear your classmates the way they pronounce something that maybe sometimes we miss, right? That's normal. And, yes. and, and I love it because you picked that thing. So that was that was very good, Heaven. Okay. Yes. Thank well, you. thank you so much for that. We're gonna have just one more participation, which is going to be this um girl whose name is Sandra and you Roxana Diaz. Okay, Sandra Elizabeth Asensio and Roxana Diaz. Please. You need to do it twice. Sandra. First, you're going to be Nora and then you switch. Okay? Okay. Perfect. I, I am so excited. We have to we'll wake up. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I will just stay home. Maybe I will hang uh, with some friends and watch my favorite seri series. What about you? Any plans? Um, yeah, I am going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day, and my cousin likes to snorkel. So maybe when well, I go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I would like to, I love to. I will bring my surfboard. That's great. That's great. The more the merrier. Okay. I'm so excited. We have to wait off. What are you do? What are you going to do? I am not sure. I guess I will just stay at home. Maybe I will hang out with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I am going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We are going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to snorkel. So maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to I be my sober? That's great. The more the merrier. That was very good, the two of you. 
I love it. That was fantastic. Also, Roxanne, yes, you have your, your data uh, behind you, right? That was very cute, by the way. Okay, that was a plus, right? That was a plus to this data. That was a good yeah. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much, right? Thank you so much. Let's get into the attendance. I'm sorry, I, I, I but do me a favor when you hear your name, say please then. Oh, I'm here. Camilo. Thank you so much. Good evening. I'm here. I'm, uh, I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. And I'm sorry to hear about the, uh, the situation you were having with your relative. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate. That's tough. Right. So, um... yeah. Ana Beatriz Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Esther Aparicio Mendoza. No, he is in Darwin Blanco. Now he is in Delmi Amaya Bonilla. Present teacher. Wonderful. Good evening. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Efraín. Now he is in Stephanie Saray Martinez. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Franklin. Now he is in uh, Geraldine. You're here, right, Geraldine? Can you show you? Yes. Present. Yes. Thank, thank you, Geraldine. Hevel, thank you so much for being here, Hevel. Ingrid Present. Flores. Hello, Ingrid. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Good evening. Welcome. Irma Segura. Hello, Irma. No, she isn't. Jesus Eduardo Escobar. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. And it's nice to have you. Jose Alejandro Vaquerano. Present, teacher. Thank you and welcome. Juan David Madrid. Present teacher. Thank you, gentlemen. Karina Yamilet Rivera. Oh, Jesus. Catherine. Catherine Yamilet Rivera. I apologize. Catherine Yamilet Rivera. No, she isn't. Okay. Kevin. Josias. Kevin. No, he isn't. I will check the chat on soon or when I finish so I can check. If you send a message over there, Lucia Elena Cepeda. Lucia Elena Cepeda. No, she isn't. Melvin Ernesto Diaz. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Nice to have you, gentlemen. Merin Daniela Carranza. Present, teacher. Thank you and good evening. Milagro de la Paz. I think I saw you. You're I'm working. here, Mister. You're Mister, working. I'm here. <laughs> You have yes, a yes. I'm working again. You have a forty-hour shift, okay? I want <laughs> to participate. <laughs> oh, I will give you the chance later, okay? Because I saw you busy. Okay, sir. So you're busy on the camera, right? So uh, that's why I didn't interrupt. Uh, okay, Mirna. Sir. Thanks. Mirna Janet Landos. Mirna. Now she is Nelson Seron. Hello, Nelson. Now he is in Patricia Esmeralda Garcia. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Patricia Castellanos. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Ronald Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Roxana Diaz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. And it's nice to have you. Sandra Asensio. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And Sandra Elizabeth Rivas. Present. Thank you so much. Just give me a minute while I check the chat on something really quick. Emilio, okay. Uh, Jose Alejandro, okay. Give me a minute so I can check that. Emilio and also Jose, right? Okay, thank you. Um, Irma, okay, Irma, you scan me a minute. Yes, I got you here. Okay, also, Nelson and Kevin, right? Nelson and Kevin. Okay, Kevin, also, Nelson. Okay, well, Nelson, okay, Nelson, yeah. Okay. Um, excuse me, Mirna, you have a question? That would be yeah. so scary. Oh, that's okay. Welcome. Nice to have you. Okay. Yes, Mirna Landos, right? 
Very good. I got you here. Thank you so much. Before we dive. Uh, let's carry on with this uh, information that we have today. Unit five. Okay. We're going to have the rest of the conversation and we're going to work with these two questions. Okay. Where are they going to stay and how will they get there? Two questions, right? The first one is where are they going to stay and how will they get there? Let's listen and answer these two questions. Page 30, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are they going to stay? How will they get there? By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, there's a small hotel near the beach where we can stay. I stayed there last year and it's very nice, clean, and not too expensive. Do you think they still have vacancies? They probably have at least one room available. We can share a room and save some money. Sounds good. And when are we going to go? There is a bus that leaves at 6 o'clock in the morning. Is that too early for you? That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Page 30, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are they going to stay? How will they get there? By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, there's a small hotel near the beach where we can stay. I stayed there last year and it's very nice, clean, and not too expensive. Do you think they still have vacancies? They probably have at least one room available. We can share a room and save some money. Sounds good. And when are we going to go? There is a bus that leaves at 6 o'clock in the morning. Is that too early for you? That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Thank you. How are you, Martinez? Number one, where are they going to stay? Uh, a small hotel near uh, the beach. That is correct. Very good. Okay. And the last one, I love, I love the answer of the next question. Okay. So, um, if you want to do something, just do it. Okay. So, you have different options to do it, right? No matter what, if your purpose is doing something, you can go ahead and do it. Okay. Hevel, thank you. The next question. Okay. How will they get there? Nothing, teacher. Oh, that's okay. No problem. Okay. I will give you two options, right? right? I will give you two options and I want you to select, just pick one. Remember here, uh, you can do mistakes and that's no problem at all, okay? Are they going to get there by bus or by car? Kevin. Are, are they going to get there by car or by bus, Kevin? Just pick one option. By bus. Uh, by car. By bus, teacher. Somebody said, yeah. Yeah, by bus, Kevin, okay? <laughs> they will get there by bus, okay? So here yeah. in El Salvador, we have happy buses, right? Los yeah. buses alegres, right? So we can, you mm -hmm. see, we can go places using buses, uh, happy buses. Like here in El Salvador, tenemos los buses alegres, right? So we can get there and we can go places. Like these girls are going to get there by bus, you see? They just want yes. to spend some time outside on vacation and they will do it. They will travel by bus. That's fantastic. Sounds amazing. Page. Okay. We're going to have this video about the grammar part. I want you to listen, uh, take notes, and check what is the grammar uh, content of this future with uh, be going to and will. So here we have a combination of these two, right? Let's check it out. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end.
I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're going to, uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month, but I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just um, stay home. Th these are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, That's what I want to express. Um, and so in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be. And then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. 
Now let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe, uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably, okay? Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will... watch the football game all right and so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned these are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on maybe I'll watch the football game I think I'll watch the football game I probably will watch the football game now um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, okay? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle, okay? I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game but however with this one you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle I probably will watch the football game the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class so you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Now, if you look at, let's say, the second question, where are you going to go? You might have decided to take your vacation and you might know exactly where to go. And then again, you might not. So if you're sure about it, then you're going to use the expressions towards the left. You're going to use be going to plus, um, you know, whatever complement that exists. So you're going to use I'm going to go to Europe. All right. That could be a, um, your plan. But if you don't know, you haven't decided on, I'm not sure of where I'm going to go. I guess I'll travel, but I don't know where. And so you'll use the expressions towards the right side of this chart. Okay. Yes, yeah, so pretty much just to sum it up. What are we working here is we're working with the future. Okay, the one that is with plan already, we're gonna have going to. And the one that is unpredictable, that is with will. Okay, also with will, we have those little expressions like, I think, probably, I don't know, Yes, so things that makes you doubt about the thing you 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 will do, and we're going to is it, the opposite. Right? It's like something you already decided to do, and 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 it is a plan that you you got it already. Okay, so um we're gonna have this a uh, really short conversation, which is uh like picking out we're going to or with will which one goes according to the context right. Like this one, it's uh, it's Friday at last. What are you going to do this weekend? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm really tired. So I uh, I probably what is the next one? Want. Want to. Want to. Want to anything. Exactly. Very good. Right. Why want? Because I want is. I'm not sure. Exactly. That's the phrase. Because, I'm not sure. Exactly. Possibly. Because of this, right? I, I probably, we have the word probably. So when mm -hmm. it comes probably, that means, oh, the future, we're going to have will, right? And one is the mm -hmm. negative because we have the not. 
Okay, I want uh do right. That's the next one. Sorry, I forgot. I, I want to. Yes. I want to. Anything exciting? Maybe. One more time. We have another word here that that tell us. Oh. I. I see. I will. I will. Exactly. Very good. Okay. I will use apostrophe because somebody mentioned I. I yes. Very good. I see. A movie. Mm -hmm. Saturday. What? How about you? How about you? Are you going to stand there? Oh, very good. Thank you so much. Are you in to return me? To spend. 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 To spend. spend. Yeah, are okay. you going to spend your weekend? How, how are you going to spend your weekend? Oh, my wife and I. We're going to. I'm going to. Going to. Going to. We'll. We are going to. Okay. Okay. So which one is my wife and I are going, are going to. Are going to do. Oh yes, very good. Let me check. Are going, going to. Do. To, to to do right, I guess. Going to paint. We're going to do some work in our house. We we're going to paint living room Saturday. Exactly. Are going um I think it's to paint right. Paint. Oh, paint. Going to paint. It's not paint. Sorry. <laughs> and we're paint going. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was very close. So very close. <laughs> going to paint. The living room on Saturday. On Sunday, we are going to clean the rooms. Are going to clean the rooms. Clean them very good. We're going to clean all the rooms. Okay, what about the next one? Are you going to do anything fun? Are you going? Yes. Are you um, going to do? To do? Yeah. Are you going to do anything? Anything fun? Oh, I think we will. I. We will. Are going to have? Okay. We'll um, are going to or will? Which one do you think? Will. 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 Because, because. he says. Because uh, in the sentence at the beginning says yes, think, yes, I, I think. think. Oh yes, I but, think but, like but, a probability. It's not sure. Exactly, right? We have the word aha. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because I don't see here. Yes, ha. Huh. I think we will have a lot, a lot of fun. fun. We like working around the house on Sundays, my birthday. So we are, uh, we're, going, we're going. We are going to have. Exactly. Very good. Are going. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. We're going to have. Uh, I'm going to have yeah. dinner at my favorite Oh, maybe you're getting pasta or spaghetti, right? That would be good. Now that sounds like fun. Okay. So we have this conversation between A and B. We're gonna have Juan and Madrid. Thank you. You are going to be letter A. And your partner is going to be Ronald Alexis with letter E. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Okay. It's Friday. Alas, alas. What are you going to do this week? I'm not sure. I'm really tired. So I probably want to won't do anything exciting. Maybe I'll see a movie on Saturday. How about you? How are you going to spend your weekend? My wife and, and I are you going to do some work on your house. We are you going to paint the living room on Saturday. On, on Sunday, we are you going to clean uh, all the rooms. Yeah. Are you okay. going to do anything fun? Oh, I think we will have 
I love I love often I love often we like working around the house um Sundays uh, my birthdays so we are going to have dinner with my favorite Italian restaurant now that sounds like fun Thank you so much. Very good, the two of you. A few mistakes on pronunciation. Uh, if one, okay. Uh, and again, with practice, we, we uh, overcome those, okay? With practice, in practice. Very good. So this is the way we talk a little bit of the future, as you may know. I hope that we can, chance, we can have the chance tomorrow to practice a little bit more. Yes. Um, Because it's, it's quite simple, right? Going to is like, it's planned already and... The future we're going to, we have these expressions like maybe, um, I think, yes, uh, we have probably, um, yes. So when you, you have these little yes. tiny expressions, you have these tiny expressions when it comes with future we're going to, with going. Okay. So thank you so much, people, for being here. Uh, thank you so much for everything you did. Thank you, teacher. Have a nice night. Uh, take care. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Bye bye.